It is currently 8 a.m. on a Sunday morning and we are about to go for one of the craziest breakfast buffets available in Dubai and probably the most expensive. So come along with us, let's go. We've also come out to a very wet and rainy Dubai, which is uh, pretty refreshing, but horrible to start the day with. <laughs> Can't get the hair wet. <laughs> so we're heading to Atlantis the Royal, which is the new Atlantis hotel on the Palm. It looks incredible and I'm very excited to check it out. We're going to have a little sneak look around as well. And we're heading to Gastronomy, which is the main restaurant. So that is the old Atlantis that we've visited and stayed at many times before, and now this is the new Atlantis. This is insane. Hey, thank you. We're not even inside yet, and just where you valet your car is huge. Okay, so we just checked out the lobby and now we're walking through to Gastronomy, which is the restaurant where we're going to. And this place is so aesthetic everywhere. There's like marble across all the walls and there's loads of fancy shops, Louis Vuitton, Valentino. It's incredible here. I'm very excited for this food now. We didn't eat at all last night to make sure we were hungry. And we're excited to stay here later in the year. I've never seen salad dressing presented like this. I feel like I'm in Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. <laughs> so this area is the courtyard, which is salad bar, um, like avo on toast, and also like juices made to order. They have their own in-house bakery here as well, which is like where they freshly bake croissants, bread, everything every single day. <laughs> Are you excited? Oh my god. Wow. Oh look, they've got the logo in them as well. They literally have taps with running chocolate. What the hell? They also have their very own coffee roastery inside the buffet just here with fresh coffee every day. This place blows my mind. We're actually gonna stop and get some food now because we've just been running around excited. I've never seen cereal look this good. <laughs> Even the basic stuff looks amazing here. See, even the pizzeria functions in the morning and it cooks fresh za'atar bread and lots of traditional Arabic breads as well as some other funky stuff. Course number one, we've gone with a little bit of a weird English breakfast with some Avalon toast. Oh my God. Course number three is a bit heavier with lots of bread and croissants that are freshly baked here. Insane. And they've even got the logo of the hotel in the waffle. Mm. Nice. We're on to what we think is our final course, which was like an ice cream section and some fruit. Wow, honestly, there's so much choice here. We'll go for a proper review in a minute. So we have just come outside uh, where it's still a little bit rainy, but normally you would actually sit out here with these incredible views and with the Atlantis Royal straight behind you. So a little bit unfortunate about the weather, but still that breakfast was incredible. We also just ordered some champagne because our friends actually let us know that champagne is included in this price. Now, when it comes to price, it is $2.95 per person, which is like $80, $90, which seems a bit crazy for a breakfast, but when you compare how much you pay for a dinner it was actually really worth it there is so so much choice and the woman was nice enough to tell us that if you downloaded the Atlantis Circles app you got I think it was about 10% off so instead of ours being 580 dirham it was 500 dirham but you do need to download this app in advance before coming here so make sure you do that luckily Ebb already had it and you can see all of these rooms here we will hopefully be staying in one of these later this year to stick around for that review but look at the incredible view out this way you get a full skyline of the marina and even further so they did say on the phone that you could only spend an hour and a half here but no one cared and no one monitored we actually spent about three hours here in the end it's open from what was it 8 a.m actually 7 i think 7 a.m till 12 p.m lunchtime so you've got a long time this is insane 
we've stepped outside to try and look at the pool, but it is actually raining pretty hard at the moment. But this place is insane, look up there. Uh, we're gonna get a quick look at the pool and then hide from the rain. We looked at the pools, but there's loads of little ones dotted around, and now we come to the main entrance bit, which is just incredible. This building is like the best architecture I've ever seen. This is like the main entrance bit. We've come into the newly opened Louis Vuitton store, which literally opened two or three days ago. We've made it into the little Louis Vuitton garden where they host different events and things. It's a nice little small space, but the furniture and the artwork just across the whole building is just crazy. Everywhere you go, there's like this bespoke art everywhere. It's really cool just to wander around and see this incredible building. Thank you very much. So we made it to our friend's house where we're going to spend the rest of the day, but it was a really amazing experience, definitely recommend it. Very expensive, but very worth it. I do think the cost equals how amazing the food is, so definitely check it out. And the hotel is amazing, we'll stay there later this year. And also it was really nice to meet someone who actually watches my videos earlier on. So thank you for watching, and if you see me in public, come and say hi. But apart from that, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll see you guys somewhere in the world next time. Boom.